There's nothing new about haters. They've been around ever since the beginning. People have been put down for what they believed in and whatever their values were. I mean, people from the lowest of values have haters. All the way to the best of people to have walked this earth. From Jesus to Muhammad, peace be upon them both. They were called madmen, crazy people. They had haters too. He was called a sahar, a majnoon. Even to this day, names are still being called. Books are still being written. And films are being produced. He who thinks he is free from the criticism of people is a madman. For the Lord of the worlds himself has been wrongfully criticized. These are the words of the great scholar, Al-Imam al-Shafi'i. When he himself and his own messengers have haters, then it's only natural that his religion will have haters too. But why? Why is Islam criticized so much? Seriously. Why? Is it because of the way we look? Even though our religion specifically teaches that the colour of your skin, your eyes and hair doesn't make you better than anyone else. Is it because we look like we're all from the same country? Mate, I'm from Bondi and I'm Muslim too. Muslims are from everywhere. Anyone can be a Muslim. Or maybe it's because of the way we dress. It's pretty comfortable, I must admit. Is it because of my beard? Is it because of my beard? All key men in history had beards. Look at Ibrahim. I mean Abraham Lincoln. Is it because of her hijab? But didn't Mary, the mother of Jesus, wear a hijab too? Is it because of how we treat our women? Although the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, the best of you in character is the best to his wife, and he وسلم, was the best to his wife. It's because there's so many of us. Maybe that's because Muhammad peace be upon him, was the most influential in all of history. The most influential person in history. Is it because it looks like we're trying to convert everyone? If you believed you had the most beautiful gift in the world, wouldn't you want to share it with everyone else too? But even still, I couldn't convert anyone even if I tried. After all, I have no power. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all the power. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا إكراه في الدين There is no compulsion in religion. Is it because of the language we speak? But we speak English too. I mean, this is English, right? Is it because of the food we eat? Halal food is simply to assure that the animal is treated with utmost mercy from the farm to the fork. Is it because of the drinks we drink and the drinks we don't drink? I prefer the sober life anyway. I would rather not blame it on the alcohol. Is it because we get upset when bad things happen to us? Whether it be at home or around the world. Just because someone is overseas doesn't mean he's still not my brother or she's still not my sister. If we don't try and fix their problem, who will? Is it because we refuse to be silent when injustice prevails? Well, this is because Islam is very clear with regards to injustice. Whenever you see one, try to change it. And if you can't, at least with your tongue, a word. And if you still can't, at least with your heart. Maybe it's because we love him a bit too much. Muhammad, peace be upon you. But we're taught to love him more than our own selves, more than our own mothers. And I don't think it's possible to ever love your mother too much. I've read his biography from multiple sources. And what can I say? I love him. The more, the more you learn about him, the more you love him. Wait. Maybe it's because of the way some of us act. Yes, maybe it's our fault. Maybe it's because we made you believe that Islam was sent to a bunch of perfect people. When in reality Islam was sent to perfect people. See, Islam is perfect. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was perfect, but Muslims aren't. So I invite you to his way. To the way of Jesus, Moses, Abraham, the way of God Almighty, Allah. Discover Islam for what it really is. Not from what he says, she says, TV, radio, for what it really is. From the real sources. Less hating, more educating. So start reading today. Start reading today. Start reading today. Start reading today. Start reading today.